Hello everyone, I'm Anabia Zanel. I'm from Malaysia and a researcher in one of the Agricultural Institute in Malaysia. So today I would like to share with you about our work on durian using omics and bioinformatics approaches. So the title of my presentation is Insight into Durio Zibantinus and Other Durio Species via Gen White Snaps Analysis. So this is the overview of my presentation. I will start with the recent updates on durian in omics research, the aims and objective of this study, the materials and methods that I use, highlight of research finding and future works. Durian or durian? So durian is widely grown in tropical and subtropical region, and it has more than 30 species. For example, durio cutagensis, durio grabilians, durio luenis, and many more. So in Asian countries, durio is commercially uh, planting. Um, for example, in Malaysia, Thailand, and Indonesia. It also has different cultivars in each country, although it comes from the same uh, species. And the first rough genome of durian was established in 27, which is from the durian zebentinus cultivar Musang King. And durian has a polyploid genome and belongs to the Malvasia family. It has unique taste and aroma due to the presence of volatile compounds such as esters, aldehydes, sulfurs, and alcohols. To Durian also rich in secondary metabolites, which is beneficial for human health. So for the omic resources, our previous study have done on the total phenolic compounds and antioxidants to investigate the bioactivity compound in pulp, seed, and peel of durian. And since the durian genome was established, so a researcher are really interested to identify the resistant gene analogs in the durian genome. And um, due to the recent advance in RNA-6 uh, technology, a researcher um, has studied the expression analysis to gain insight into the role of ripening related genes in durian. Researcher also used the metabolomic platform to investigate the responsible metabolites and pathway during fruit ripening and unripe. And if you go to the secret archive database, you can see uh, several data sets on durian, for example, the genome, uh, the RNA and also the organelle genome. Well, for the SSRs or molecular markers, uh, SSRs are widely developed for varietal identification and genetic diversity studies in durian. And this is important because if you can see that some of the durian uh, variety or cultivar or um, uh, species are uh, quite difficult to uh, differentiate if it depends on their morphological uh, characteristic. So that's why we need uh, molecular markers such as SSR or SNP to differentiate uh, the varietal or the species. So why do we study this? So the genomic information of durian and local cultivar is fully studied, hence we should start the work. So we have three objectives here. First, we need to identify the potential SNPs in gene responsible for economical traits, then to identify the resistant gene analogs containing SNPs in local durian, and then to develop molecular markers for varietal and species identification. So material and methods. So to proceed the study, firstly, we discuss the breeder on the potential durian species and gymplasm. So because the breeders know well about this, then once the breeder suggested, uh, they suggested to sequence the durian zibetinus accession 307, which is uh, the durian cultivar developed by the Mardi breeder. And then for the transcriptome sequencing, uh, so we sequence the durian from species of gravidians, cutogenesis, and luenus. And since the sequencing was done around 2015 to 2016, so at that time, the Illumina High uh, 2000 uh, platform uh, are, were widely used. So we use this Illumina High 2000 platform. And then for the genome, uh, the coverage was uh, 50 times coverage with the 100 best pair short rates. And for the RNA sequencing, we we'll also use the Illumina High 2000 with 100 best pair uh, pair and rates. And then for the bioinformatics analysis, in order to identify the SNP, we need to do the mapping uh, of uh, short rates of uh, clean rates against to the durian zambetinus cultivar musanki. So for the genome mapping, we use the BWA, while for the RNA sequence mapping, we use the STAR. And for the SNP identification, we use the GATK and free bayers, then we use the variant concordance to identify the true SNP. And for the SNP annotation and analysis, 
of the letters that we use the VEP and C4G. And then we also perform the functional analysis of genic and D letter SNP uh, using GO and pathway enrichment analysis. Highlights of research finding. So you can see that this table shows the total number of clean reads, map reads, and also the percentage of map reads. You can see here that since accession 307 uh, is uh, from the same species of musankin, so the percentage of map reads is quite high, which is 89%. But for the species, uh, Gravillian cutinian siluanus, the percentage map reads uh, was uh, more than 70%. And uh, based on uh, the rich mapping, uh, we managed to identify a total of 9.4 million SNP. And then of this, about 18k uh, SNP were monomorphic. So we removed from the downstream analysis. The monomorphic SNP is because uh, they have the same allele. So uh, we can't do much on uh, the, the variety which has the uh, same um, uh, SNPs uh, and allele. So we remove because it's not meaningful. And then uh, of the 9.4 million SNPs, we performed the SNPs annotation and about 1.3 million SNPs were successfully annotated into 34K durian coding genes using the variant effect predictor. We also identify the unique and polymorphic SNPs uh, in the three durian species. So as you can see, uh, the bar, bar graph show the different number of SNP identified in three durian species. And you can see that Lubianus show the higher numbers of SNP as compared to Gravillians and Cotagensis. This could possibly do to, due to the divergence of uh, Lubianus quite far from the Sebentanus. That's why the Lubianus has a high number of SNP as compared to Gravillians and Cotagensis. And for the unique SNP, the number is quite same. Um, and then the unique SNP is, uh, is of interest uh, because it can uh, be a candidate molecular markers for species of varietal identification. We also analyze details on uh, 4,000 uh, polymorphic SNPs. Uh, polymorphic SNP is the SNP where uh, it has more than two allele and it's quite um, useful for species of varietal identification also. And then this polymorphic SNP, we were then annotated into uh, 5K protein coding genes. And we further details and found that uh, the 5992 protein coding genes are responsible in a 1 to 7 pathway. And this table shows some of the pathway that uh, uh, some of the genes, uh, some of the pathway that uh, uh, containing the genes that are responsible. Um, in uh, this pathway. Okay, for example, the fatty acid, phenylalanine metabolism, and uh, no novobiosin biosynthesis. SIPS annotation. Um, for the 1.3 million genetic SNP, we also categorize into the four uh, SNP type of SNPs effect. For example, the intron variant, misen variant, UTR, and synonymous. And for the SNP with the misen variant category, uh, we further analyze into uh, deleterious using the SIF uh, tool. And uh, in the SIF tool, the SNP is considered as a deleterious when the SIF score shows a value less than 0 0.05. While if the SIF score uh, show value larger than 0 0.05, then the SNPs are predicted to be tolerated. And then in this study, about 56K uh, were found as a deleterious SNPs. And why deleterious SNP? Okay, so deleterious SNPs is the SNP from the missense variant, which will affect the protein function and possibly contribute to phenotypic expression. So we also further uh, annotate the gene with um, the genic SNPs. And the genic SNP were annotated in the eukaryotic autologous group, KOG database. And as you can see in this figure, um, the gene containing the genetic SNP were highest in the transcription, signal transduction, intracellular, and also lipid metabolism. 
and we also go details in some of the gene ontology term and all the gene containing unit SNP were enriched uh, were high uh, in uh, high numbers in cellular process metabolic process localization and respond to stimulus while in molecular function the catalytic activity and binding was uh, were the highest numbers of uh, ontology terms for the gene that containing unit SNPs for the deleterious SNPs we also um, perform the GON pathway enrichment analysis. And here, the p-value less than 0 0.05, which is for the cutoff, which shows that uh, this uh, terms and pathway uh, were enriched uh, in this uh, analysis. And then, uh, based on the enrichment analysis, we found that the deleterious SNPs, the genes that contain this de deleterious SNPs were enriched in several biological process and molecular function, uh, for example, transport uh, activity, response to stress, protein binding, uh, enzyme regulatory activity, and also carbohydrate binding. And for the pathway, um, the pathway with the secondary metabolites, for example, the phenylpropanoid, carotenoid, and also um, yeah, dopamine and carotenoid were enriched, which shows that the secondary metabolites are highest uh, are high in uh, the durian. And for the uh, we can see that the sulfur metabolism is one of the pathway that uh, contribute uh, are responsible in the aroma of durian. So SNPs in resistant gene analogs. Um, so we managed to identify 106 polymorphic SNPs were discovered in 167 genes encoding resistant gene analog. Our previous study uh, by a researcher from Philippine, they managed to categorize or identify the resistant gene analogs in uh, durian uh, musang king uh, genome. So we use that information as uh, guidance to search our SNPs and genes in, uh, in the um, SNPs in our species. And from the analysis, uh, we can see that uh, the CNL uh, has the highest numbers of gene and SNPs count, while the lowest number of gene and SNPs in RGAs were in NBS, RLP, and also TNL. So the SNPs in resistant gene analogs um, it could be uh, useful to develop as a functional markers uh for screening germplasm with a resistant or a tolerance or susceptible uh, characteristic as a summary of the study so the genome-wide SNP analysis on durian species is a key to the implementation of genome-based breeding approaches become more eff uh, efficient so we can use the inf SNP information in several applications for example varietal identification seed purity evolutionary relationships and selection of potential germplasm for genetic mapping study and rejection of unique and polymorphic SNP will be valuable resources for the germplasm screening and varietal identification in the durian breeding program, while the identification of SNP in RGAs can be used in the development of functional markers for improving disease-resistant traits. Future works, we would like to explore SNP in change related to economic traits, and also we plan to develop a repository of genomics and genetics information on durian. So acknowledgement, I would like to say thank you to the organizer for choosing me as one of the presenters uh, in this conference, and also to our funders in industry development and breeders from the horticulture and agrobiodiversity uh, research center. So with that, I end my presentation. I can be reached at uh, this platform. So thank you.